Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to be doing a review of Hamster Roll. Okay, so this is a great family game. Um, very simple to learn. Dexterity game. Um, has very few rules. And so we just had Blast playing. Um, this is a... Uh, comes from uh, overseas and so it's a little bit hard to get here in the US so we will provide the link um, this I would say is probably one of the best dexterity games that we play uh, we haven't played many so uh, don't don't fall to us on that uh, but this is was a lot of fun and we enjoyed it quite a bit um, so we're just gonna jump right into the review so for the rules, what would you give the rules? Usually five out of five, it had pictures, I think extremely simple. We had no questions at all while we were playing this game. Super simple, super fun. Uh, I agree, I'll give it five out of five. The illustrations and the, and the rules were uh, easily detailed. Um, the font was easy to read. Um, everything was separated, so it was in, uh, one whole, one full paragraph uh, of reading. And so it, it outlined uh, everything clearly. So five out of five in the rules. Uh, what would you give the components? Um, I would give the components a five out of five. Mm. I really like the little hamster wheel. Mm. I also like how what you're doing is you're trying to place these things. When pieces? Yeah, where it's not like you put one now and move it completely. Like here. Like you just put your little wooden pieces on there and it moves. I really like how the components it's um it's fair for everyone and there's always a like spot to put them so like let's see you do this like oh you can't put it on top of that anymore yeah so do that yeah. yeah there's always like a spot that you can like put them but you do have to follow some rules yeah okay. but overall i really like the components i also they also look nice and are easy to see. Sometimes the components are hard to see yeah. in more games. So I would give it five out of five. Um, great wheel, at, um, slice, uh, rolls pretty easily. Uh, also, the components are made of uh, wood, so um, they're and they're all different weighted, and so and they're you get seven complete uh, different shapes and uh, different colors, so so you get easy to distinguish uh, which ones they are. Uh, just we also like the little uh, grooves, the little wooden in, in the inside. And so, and you notice in the inside, there's also different shapes and sizes of each one too. So it holds, uh, uh, you know, the weight dis distributes evenly. So five out of five in the components. Uh, what did you think about the whole experience? Um, easy five out of five. We know problems with the walls. We, we had a lot of fun. However, one thing that I would say to um, boost the experience of this game, make sure that you have two things on the side of when you're playing this game because this thing is like, it rolls extremely easily. Mm. So I could totally see this rolling off the table and all the pieces with it just go pow. Yeah, so um, I would give it a five out of five in the experience. Um, very little downtime, especially because you only get a 30 second time length uh, for each player to place your uh, components on the wheel. And so um, very little downtime. Uh, like the progression as, as the very beginning, you know, everyone's uh, pin very few and, you know, there's the wheels have moved uh, not so significantly, you know, one it, because once you put it in one direction, you have to follow that direction of the roll. But it's just very great experience. Enjoyed it. Um, so, what did you think about the mechanics? Um, usually five out of five. I really like the mechanics. And for you're placing these tiles, and you, and you're like putting them on the hamster wheel. Like all of them are. They have different weights. None of them are like too easy or too hard to place. You pretty much always have a placement. And even if you can't place something, you can just like move it like this. You can always move it, mm -hmm. so that's good. And also, I like how there's different sizes of these, like you covered. And whenever someone, it's really funny when someone like 
like the some some of the pieces drop because when the pieces drop, you don't lose the game. You win the game by getting the like like having no more pieces left. But when someone like when there's like a lot of pieces that drop, that player has to get every single piece that dropped off the wheel the time where where it dropped all of it. So let's say you've dropped all these pieces. They would have to take all these. Mm -hmm. to, and then they would have to place them on top of the pieces that they already have yeah. here. So there's lots of fun in this game. Games, the game is very balanced as well. So overall, 5 out of 5 mechanics. And I would give it like a 5 out of 5 in the mechanics. Um, like he stated, if all the pieces drop, uh, one thing that I pretty much use uh, often is if you, let's say you have a piece there, or a piece because it has to be higher than the piece prior. So if you have a piece here, you're able to put another piece to the side of it and you're even able to scoot it if you want to. And so you're able to do that. And so that's one aspect of the game that um, you have to remember. And so very fun mechanics. Um, um, you have to know spatial and you also have to Remember the weight of each one. So, and as you play throughout um, several games, you got to know what weights and which ones um, pretty much make the wheel turn more or how much they turn. Because then you'll be able to determine what ones to use. Because at certain terms, certain times throughout the game, you gotta have some here and here. And so when you place and you have no choice, you have to place one. You, you pretty much will, the wheel will uh, turn because it, it you have to keep the, the roll that initially uh, the first person started. And so it's gonna turn no matter what. And so you, you if you are um, strategic enough, you'll be able to figure out which piece to use and how much it's gonna roll. And you probably could do the determination on, on how much of the weight of each one is distributed and you know just mathematically so so pretty much uh great mechanics five out of five uh what about replayability um i would give the replayability a five out of five mm -hmm. there's so many different things you can do so many different strategies and like and like the game won't, won't always be the same because you'll be placing different pieces and the wheel will roll differently. So let's say instead of like placing that, I placed one here. Now everyone would have to go off that piece. And that would make it where the, um, that would make it different also the way that it rolls mm -hmm. as well. So. So this game's very replayable with the seven different pieces and the fact how the game will basically never be the same. So I agree. Um, I would give the replayability uh, five out of five. Uh, high replayability because it's a filler game. It's actually fairly quick. It's probably like 15, 20 minutes. Um, and the setup time, because it comes with a whole bunch of different bags. So you're able to uh, put the bags for each seven um, of the pieces in different bags. And so set time literally takes a minute or less. And so, and then t tear down probably is like two minutes because you have to separate all the pieces, put the pieces back, the wheel. And so high replayability because it's easy to learn, easy to teach, and it's just a dexterity game. Uh, you can play with kids, uh, at, let's see, it says seven plus. I venture to say like five. Yeah. And so, you know, all you have to do is have a steady hand and with a steady hand, also the way that you play is you can always hold with one finger and just make sure you put the piece. And so that's uh, part of the game. And so you, and this will teach uh, whoever the you know, younger kids to um, pretty much have a steady hand, also spatial um, where things could go and, and how you stuff. So replayability, uh, Five out of five. Uh, what do you think about the over total? Um, I'll give this a four point eight out of five. Nine point nine out of ten. Overall, amazing board game. However, there's one thing that I don't agree with on the box. It says that the time is thirty to forty.
40 minutes. Oh, yeah, I don't see how the game could take 30 to 40 minutes because you could play this game with like, this game could take 3 minutes or this game could like maybe take 20 minutes. Well, if you and Amanda play, it'll take 30, 40 minutes because you two are not good with uh, spatial and uh, well, weight we, distribution. Well, are we going to do this the whole time? Yeah. You two were knocking <laughs> the pieces off in both games. Our, our, uh, yeah. Previous maybe, game and the and the one we filmed. Maybe the makers of the game don't have steady <laughs> hands. Yeah, I have a steady hand, so I was able to beat them fairly quick. As uh, I'm good with spatial and figuring out weight distribution, so, um, but they're not. So it, it's all determined on who you're playing with or who you're playing against. So for me, I would give this a four point five, um, like a like a 8.5 out of 10, uh, just a great game, um, dexterity game, uh, just uh, the amount of pieces, I wish there was an expansion that would have more uh, different weight pieces. I wish uh, that they had like certain shapes, like one of them was like a triangle, one of them was like a cylinder, yeah. and like an octahedron or something cool like that. Yeah, if they had more shapes, that would be amazing. Um, Expansion for this game would just elevate it because you'd be able to implement um, more shapes into the wheel. Yeah, but they probably won't things. make an expanse for this game considering it is from 2000. Yeah, but you never know if it hits a mass market here in the U.S. and they uh, it does well. I could see them, uh, you know, put, them a, put an expansion or even if they uh, did a Kickstarter um, and then you know, implement expansion that way. I can see it doing very well. I, I can imagine a lot of people wanting this game here in the US that have not yet played it. And so this is a great game. Um, I would say anyone who has family, especially uh, kids five and up, uh, this would be like one of the best games to, uh, you know, teach them and get them into the hobby of board games. And so, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Social media down below in the description. I'm gonna have a link um, of. I would have to that. <laughs> I'm have a link of uh, where buy the game, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.